as a clinic because um, we are losing a great employee. Uh, even though she will be not physically with us, I know she'll be with us uh, in our hearts for sure. And I'm sure I'm speaking for everybody here when I say that. Uh, you are a significant part of our team and uh, one may argue a pivotal part of our team and you've proven yourself as such on many occasions and as you know, we sincerely appreciate your being with us. You do it every... Um, so let me tell you a bit about Lori. So uh, Lori served, uh, and by the way, we have some people here, so uh, just wave up, hello, got the show over. So we have some folks joining see. us here. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna be mindful of not standing in front of the camera so you guys can see me participate. So we can hear you guys uh, whenever you wanna say something, uh, when the time will come, please do. So let me tell you more about Lori. So Lori's been uh, a DA civilian for about 10 years. She began her federal employment uh, in April of 2005 by serving as a recreation assistant with a fitness assessment cell, McCord Air Force Base. And she held this position from April 2005 to August 2008, so almost three years. Uh, from August 2008 to February 2015, she served as the housing manager assistant at the U.S. Army Medical Command Warrior uh, WTB at JVLM. And in February 2015 to August 2020, she served as the ASA here at Camp Biz. Over her tenure, over the 10 years that she's been a DA civilian, um, and by the way, these are not including the time off and monetary awards that we put in uh, Lori for on many occasions. So this is not counting that. So Air Force Outstanding Unit Award in mm -hmm. 2010, Civilian of the Quarter Award, at the group level, so that's at her uh, 627th uh, Force Support Squadron. Performance Award on, uh, in 2011 from the Air Force. Award for Best Warrior Transition Barracks in the region in 2014. Wow. Achievement Medal for Civilian Service for Housing Assistant from WTB. Employer of the Month, twice here at Galvez. Employer of the Year here at Galvez, our first Employer of the Year. <laughs> That, that's actually stuck with us, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, until today. And Civilian Service Achievement Medal in 2020, just recently. This is all Lori, this is all you. And your leaving is uh, leaving us with a void, that big. Uh, so what we'll do next is we'll have our new department chief, Colonel Perry, say something and present you with the retirement certificate, and then we'll go with our festivities. You want to come up here, or I'll go back there. Where should I go? Wherever we can right take here, pictures of you guys. Yeah, here at the front, front center. Mm -hmm. And then we'll put these guys in our back. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, no, congratulations. Thank uh, you. Thank you. Uh, I've heard such wonderful things about you now over the past several days. Um, thank you for your service. Um, it's not easy sometimes being a government employee and some of the stuff we go through, but um, we appreciate it, and we know that you've done great things both for us and for our patients and everybody else involved. Um, but yeah, we have the certificate of retirement signed by the hospital commander, um, effective 31 August. And then your, um, <laughs> your final award that's going to be added to this list that he just listed is still being approved, but we plan to get that to you as soon as we possibly can. But congratulations, I'll give you a virtual hand Elbow shake and a virtual hug. How's that? Oh. <laughs> I think this is socially appropriate, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now I say something? Well, Lori, uh, should I go? Can I go back there and say it? Absolutely. Okay. This is this is your moment. Okay. So I'm just gonna sit down here, like everybody else. Well, actually, I'm, I got a few things to say here. <laughs> <laughs> Can everybody see me? Yeah, yes. okay, we got gotcha. I'm so happy Oscar let me go home early yesterday to write my retirement speech. <laughs> Thank you, Oscar. Bye-bye, <laughs> everyone. <laughs>
Okay. I do have something just short and sweet to say. It's a bittersweet day for me. I started providing a service to our military and their dependents in 1980s. I instructed weight training classes and aerobic classes part-time. I had one of me and as many as 300 soldiers, females and males, out instructing PT classes. When you're still doing push-ups and they've stopped, <laughs> you earn their respect real quick. How did I get here? The Air Force hired me full-time, a GS position, to administer PT tests in 2010, then they cut civilians out. Through the years, I've developed a lot of property management experience. I got hired on as a barracks manager at the WTB, which was very gratifying. Then they cut civilians out of that program, only to get one offer, which was an ASA for calf biz in 2005. <laughs> I landed in Oscar's office. My head was spinning, and it hasn't stopped. <laughs> that was five plus years ago. This is the best place I've ever worked, and I'm going to miss you all. You guys are the best. Each and every one of you are the best. I hope you hear that, because I really mean it. We've really had some great times together. You're all my friends. You have my phone number if you want to contact me. So please, I'm not going away. I'm just going to go look for a little more sunshine. <laughs> okay? So please, thank you so much, everyone. It's been my pleasure to be a part of you all. This has been a beautiful family. And, and we're all still family. So thank you. Thank you so much for everything. I love you. It's really all I need. That's it. That's all she wrote, babe. That's all she wrote. <laughs>